Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how you determine the sum of the interior angles of any kind of a polygon, okay? Now what do I mean by that? It, it, most people know that the interior angles, so these angles here, in a triangle, all add up to 180 degrees. And, and most people also know that when you have a square, for example, you have four right angles. So, and each of those angles is 90 degrees, so it's 4 times 90, or 360 degrees. Right? But is there a formula to help us determine any other number of the, in, or any other interior, the sum of interior angles, <clears throat> if we have larger numbers of sides, for example, like this pentagon? There actually is. And the formula is n minus 2 times 180 is equal to the sum of interior angles. Now, what exactly does that mean? Let me just finish that. N is actually the number of sides of your polygon. Okay? So the number of sides in the polygon. Let's see if this formula works with our two that we already know. So we have three sides in a triangle, so we would put three here. So we'd say three minus two times 180 is equal to the sum. That would give us one times 180 is equal to the sum, and sure enough, 180 is the sum of the interior angles, right, in a triangle. Let's see if it works for a square. A square has one, two, three, four sides. So again, we're going to put four minus two times 180 is equal to the sum. That gives me two times 180, or sure enough, 360 degrees is equal to the sum. Now, using that same formula, let's figure it out what it is for this particular polygon, which is a pentagon, right? So we have five sides. Five minus two times 180 should be equal to the sum. Three times, five minus two is three, times 180 is equal to the sum, and then 360 or excuse me, 3 times 180 would be, what, 360 plus 100, so that would be 540 degrees is equal to the sum of the interior angles in a pentagon. Now, something I want you to pay attention to. If you know that your pentagon is a regular pentagon, remember what regular means? Regular means that all the sides are equilateral, all the same length, as well as the equiangular, which means that these are all the same um, number of degrees, right? You can just divide this by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you'll be able to get what that angle is, right? So remember, that's only if it's in a regular pentagon or regular polygon. So let's see if we can figure that out. So we would say 540 divided by the number of sides and that will give us, what, 108 degrees per angle. Now, what if your polygon is not a regular polygon? Then this wouldn't work, okay? What would be an example of that? Well, let me show you. So a pentagon with five sides, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I could know that the sum is still going to be 540, but I won't know what each of these angles is individually, okay, because this is not a regular polygon. Okay, I hope that was helpful.